when it's responding. Hey, we're back. Hi, all. Welcome back to Echoes in the Dark, part three. Uh, we got away. We got the bank plans. And now we're going to go into downtime. See what's mm -hmm. happening. So, uh, that's what we do. Yeah, so you guys head back to your uh, lair. Uh, does anyone have a quick idea for what your lair, what your lair is going to be like? Well, I, I feel like like out of the three of us, I'm the one who would have like some kind of like not base operations, but I feel like it's just going to be my office. Um, <laughs> it's just my home office. I feel like <laughs> where we are. Um, oh, okay. <clears throat> I thought it might be at a university. Like, yes, it's office hours. Come in and help me plan this bank heist. <laughs> Oh, I, I love like it. That better. Students are like knocking on the door. Like, <coughs> <Not now>. <laughs> <laughs> uh, okay, cool. Um, so yeah. I also love I also love the idea that it's one guy who's like pretty straight laced, just hanging out with two criminals in his <laughs> <Yeah>. office. <laughs> I love it. Um, so yeah. yeah, so you head back there um, over the course of the next week. You have time to plan out this heist. Uh, we of course won't go into detail with that, but you can always flash back. Uh, and what would you like to do with your downtime? Uh, I'll, I'll go first because I, I already know what I want to do. Um, so I want to, uh, for my first action, do some prep work uh, mm -hmm. just so I can gain a point, or so we can gain a point of prep. Um, <clears throat> oh, excuse me. Um, and then for my second one, um, I want to uh, train in Tinker, uh, mm -hmm. which I've just, just to make sure that I'm doing the right one. That's the one for like hacking and tech, right? Uh, study actually gets you. Study. Mm -hmm. Okay, then study mm -hmm. <clears throat> to get a better at that because I feel like that's going to come in uh, great handy in the next whole thing. Sounds good. Uh, Nick, do you have an idea of what you want to do? Yeah, uh, I'm going to do the exact same thing. Okay. <laughs> uh, yeah, I know. It's, it's very... Actually, no, I'm not going to do that. I'm going to... It, instead of one prep work, I'm going to uh, use my tether. Okay, excellent. Uh, and Shift's tether is... Uh, pleasure. Adrenal the adrenaline rush of street racing. <laughs> nice. Nice. Sure. Just uh, we're gonna be studying this bank, and you just go out and uh, race your car. That's fine. Yeah, that's a normal. Yeah, thing. it's totally fine. Uh, it's also worth noting that uh, when street racing is the only time that uh, that shift makes it a point to steal fancy cars. <laughs> you got it. You got it. You got it. You got to show up big. Okay. I mean, yeah. um, go ahead and uh, roll to indulge vice. Use your tether. Five. Five. And I Boy. overindulge. <laughs> okay. Because uh, this is a one shot, um, usually I would roll entanglement, an additional entanglement for that. You would become entangled. Um, but for this, we're going to say maybe uh, maybe during this, this street race, um, the car got a little hurt and shift got a little hurt. Oh, uh, no. So we're going to... What, what's a good minor injury? Um, uh, whiplash. Yeah, that's a good one. Yeah. So yeah, level one doing, the, doing this thing a lot. Mm -hmm. uh, so that's going to lessen effect, unfortunately. Uh, but you did clear all your stress. Um, yeah. And what was your other action? Oh yeah, train. Yeah, I'm going to train, and I'm going to. I'm thinking I'm going to take uh, a point. In, I'll take a third point in finesse. Okay, <clears throat> sounds good. Nice. Uh, uh, and for uh, Sean, uh, how's Behringer? Yeah, Behringer. Sorry, I've been futzing with stream things because it's been real slow. Hopefully, everybody on stream, you have not been seeing me struggling with this. Uh, if so, I apologize. Uh, uh, but I'm gonna do uh, prep work. Spend it on a new I think Behringer is very much a prep work kind of person. If he wasn't before, he is now. So I'm going to spend one. Um, uh, prep work so, uh, to get one asset or reroll failed resist roll. Uh, yeah, sounds sounds good. So I'm definitely going to spend uh, 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 one by nine times with classic um, doing doing prep. And 
I mean, yeah, how can you resist that sweet, sweet one shot rule for training and just getting a dot? So I'm gonna <laughs> all about that. Um, and I think I'm gonna train and prowl because that's if if someone's gotta sneak past some security guards, uh Behringer is the one to do it. Um mm. so I got three in prowl now. Nice. Uh nice. and as Nick reminded me shortly before the stream. Uh, I am going to introduce another special ability. <coughs> that you guys, if you guys want to take one, just because we're kind of we're upgrading the stakes here, and we're going to go into mm. a bank heist. Uh, so you all get to choose one extra special ability. Um, shift, Nick. Do you know what you want? Yeah, I'm picking mechanic. Nice. Which, which I will send to the chat. Spend special armor or prep to avoid taking a vehicle-related consequence. Nice. So. Nice. <laughs> you've kind of learned your lesson from that <laughs> oh, yeah. that burnout and you're like you know what I, I think I'm going to tune these cars a little bit uh, <laughs> before, I, before I take them out again I like it yeah that makes sense um, um, well we're robbing a bank so I'm going to take unnoticed um, nice. if you have access to this guys of some sort no one sees through it unless you want them to oh nice that's going to work really well and so whatever we decide is our plan, I will have a disguise because we've had a week and disguise kits as subterfuge supplies include supplies. So, mm -hmm. you know, we'll, we'll have spent and we did prep work. So we'll have sent, we'll have spent that time doing, um, uh, get, getting, a, getting a suitable disguise. Yeah. Okay. And uh, for classic? Uh, I went with tech site. Um, so the Echo will always tell me about any technological systems in the scene and how I may attune to the Echo to discover how to hack into any system. Very nice. <clears throat> um, okay, so uh, that is downtime wrapped up, I believe. Um, yes, we've never done downtime. <laughs> <laughs> we kind of sped through that. We, uh, we skipped entanglements and payoff in that because um, we're coming up on a thing, but... Uh, there's usually more that goes into it. Um, for now, let's shift over to planning. Um, so yeah, time has come to plan your next score, the theft of the siege breaker of Tyre from Elm Capital Central Branch. Your first step is to choose an approach, which determines how exactly you plan to steal the siege breaker. Um, so the options uh, are listed uh, as assault, deception, stealth, occult, um, transport, uh, I might be missing one. Social. Uh, social. Social, yeah. Uh, well, can, I, can I ask a question? <clears throat> uh, what does the Siege Breaker look like, or do we know? Uh, you know it looks like a weapon. Like, like a, a big? Like a handheld yeah. weapon, or like a... Yeah, gun? that's my question, too. <laughs> so so the, here's the thing. You're, you're very... Um, the, the the scrolls the prophecy received is very vague mm. it's something that can knock down walls uh it's described as a bellowing flame as a cannon uh but there's also like references to people just like carrying it around and like you know like they did present it to so and so and you know things like that mm. and like right. the idea that the the stygian would use this to like you know, allow a single man to destroy a city or, you know, right. and like the, the actual scale of how powerful it, with it is varies. Um, but you get the sense that it is portable enough for one person to carry, but also big enough for it to be kind of a problem. Sure. All right. That helps. I like the idea that it's like a sledgehammer and also maybe like a giant ballista cannon thing at the same time. Because yes. the three is confused and that it is, it's vague in that way. Yeah. 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 Like sometimes do you fire it? Sometimes you just hammer it into something. It's unclear. Yeah. Um, so, so stealth is stealth and deception seem like the most viable. Uh, yeah. For, for sneaking into a bank. Uh, you know, we, we look like we're somebody who belongs there and then slip past various security so, measures would be a deception probably. Yeah, so I kind of like, I, I thought like, I had like the beginnings of a plan in my head. Um, sure. Which was around like, uh, I've, I've got the ability to cast magic. And what I thought would be a good idea is if I did change person on one of you uh, and make you look like the bank manager. And then I already look 
high enough like class, like I look smart and I'm older, that I could potentially be someone coming to collect something from a safety deposit box and you could yeah. lead me in. Um, <clears throat> and then once we're in, we can hack in and find out where it is and take it. I think if you make Behringer look like a bank manager, no one can disbelieve that that's, disguise. That's exactly, exactly. when you said you took me. I was like, that's a, per that's a perfect thing to do. <clears throat> yeah. Okay. So, uh, so deception sounds like the order of the day, maybe with a little I, stealth too. <clears throat> I feel like it. Yeah. Because the method of the stealth is the, the method of stealth is the point of infiltration. That's like a physical, like, what door are we going to sneak in? And the method of deception is. The, the 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 detail and deception is the method of deception and that is assume the role of the mm -hmm. of the bank manager which i think is um we don't need to figure this out because the way blades works we can always have shift be wherever but but do you have an idea where you want shift to be in this are you are you because i don't think I, like hanging outside waiting for the drive maybe keeping you involved but maybe it would i don't i don't know yeah i'm gonna hold off and decide later okay sounds good yeah, I think that's better because I like right now I can't without knowing the circumstances I can't figure out where I'm going to yeah. be best. So yeah, cool. All right, uh, video with flashbacks. The, with the with yeah. that settled, let's move into engagement. So is this operation particular? So one for luck. Is this operation particular bold or daring? Uh, using magic to transform into a bank manager and just walk in and steal something <laughs> sounds pretty <laughs> bold to me. Yeah, um, a little bit. I want that. Uh, so that's two. Is this operation overly complex? No, you're walking into a bank and stealing <laughs> something. <laughs> I mean, yeah, we're, we're taking the straightest route we th I think we really can. Uh, does the plan's detail expose a vulnerability of the target or hit them where they're weakest? I mean... I don't think the latter, but I do think we have a vulnerability by, by getting the, the blueprints. Like, we yeah. know where things are, we know what it looks like. Like, that was the whole previous score's job, was to make this score possible. Right. Yeah, I'm definitely going to put that in like other elements with the idea uh -huh. that you got the bank, you got like the uh, the layout, you know where everything is. Um, so that's just three by default. Um, the target is not definitely strongest against this approach. Um, can any of your friends or contacts provide aid or insight for this operation? I'm gonna I'm gonna say the librarians already did, so we won't do that. But um, do you guys have any friends that you want to invoke on this one? I, I kind of, I want London, my friend who's a forger, mm -hmm. to, um, basically make, so I mean, I'm the bank manager and and um, and all that stuff's good, but like, we need to make sure that I also have the, you know, I have like, you know, identification and like all the things that one might need to get into all, all, uh, all the things that we might need. And I, I sort of, I want to hold this in 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 regard regard as well that whatever shift ends up being that if they need uh, identification as well that I had London kind of like I've reconnected with London and asked them to and asked her to uh, to sort of make us up all of these. Nice. So yeah, yeah. Um, that sounds great. So I like that. Um, I'm going to put a slight condition on it. Uh, you're up to four. Um, London knows you just got out of the joint. You yeah. don't have a lot of cash, yeah, absolutely. Um, but you will be expecting oh. payment in the future. So oh, yeah, that's fair. Want to pick up a few stacks of bills or maybe empty a few safety deposit boxes? That would help you square things up with one. I, I totally, I owe, I owe her one for sure. Nice. Um, and does anyone have any enemies or rivals that they think are going to interfere? Uh, I mean, I've got. So one of the rivals that I've got, well, I, one of the rivals I've got is Snacks, who's the hacker, uh, who is apparently selling their services to police and others. And I feel like if at any point in time that might kick, just bite me in the ass. Okay. Um, yeah, we're gonna. Hmm. I don't know. Um, I feel like for this particular thing, because the bank isn't necessarily as wired to the police, just to peek behind the veil a little bit, uh, that someone who's working with the police isn't going to really be as much of a threat as you might think in this bank robbery. Um, so we're going to leave this at a strong engagement roll of four dice. Um, nice. 
and uh, let's go ahead and roll that. Game prepared. Are you going to roll Eric? You want to roll yeah, us yeah, too? I got it. Uh, do, do, do. Blame it on you then. Exactly. I, I always take the blame. Oh, nice. yeah, there's your six. Okay, nice. so nice. Sort of controlled position. Um, I imagine your approach is well. What time? Of, what time of day? Uh, set, you guys set the scene. What do you guys think? Um, the, the most important thing I think is that we make sure the bank manager is not actually there. Yeah, right. <laughs> I think that's sort of part of our prep is watching his patterns, like yeah, because we have to know what he looks like or she looks <laughs> like or they look like, you know. And and I so I think it's a matter of like. I, I want to say that the, the bank manager uh, normally comes in like pretty late in the morning. They, they're kind of slack unless, unless Eric, that doesn't fit your, your idea. No, no so I like it. This will be an exception. Someone will notice it because they'll be coming in first yes. thing. You know, mm -hmm. give us an idea. Give us a <clears throat> Maybe we start off I and mean, start off with a flashback and I can disable his vehicle. Hmm. Oh, so so we can get to work. <laughs> Yeah, even before nice. we do anything. So even if he calls in and says, oh, I can't make it, I'm going to be late, and you walk in a while later, you could just say, oh, yeah. never mind. I think, yeah. I think your engagement role is strong enough that we can just say that happened. All right, cool. Yeah, I like that. I think that that's totally, that's totally better, right. Okay, cool. So we're, we're amending that a little bit. So he always gets in first thing in the morning, uh, and uh, we're going to say what's car so that when we arrive <laughs> a little after that, mm -hmm. uh, whether he's called in or not, it still makes sense. Cool. Yeah, and I think so. I disable it in such a way that he doesn't feel like he can just like leave and like Uber in or anything. He's like, yeah, maybe the alarm's going there off. Is so he's smoke like, coming out. Of the I, engine. I gotta, <laughs> I gotta stick with my car, right? Mm -hmm. Yeah. Uh, do do do. He can't get uh, the door to lock. Right. <laughs> right. The car won't start, but the door won't lock, so he can't leave it because someone will just steal it. Um. Do do do. I was looking up the magnitude because I just want to see how much. This magic's going to cost you. Um, a lot, I imagine. But may maybe not. So the scale is just one person, so that's yeah. zero. Uh, the duration, how long do you want this to last? A few moments, a uh, few minutes, an hour, a few hours a day? An hour, I would say, at the most. Okay. Um, I think we need more <coughs> than a few minutes. So, yeah, yes. I'd say an hour. Okay, that's two. And um, let's see, tier quality and force, uh, do you want... Poor, adequate, good, excellent, superior, impeccable, legendary. Well, not be funny, but like even if it was poor, uh, Bar Barrage has got unnoticed, so any kind of disguise would mean that they <laughs> no one's going to detect them. <laughs> they could go in with a drawn-on <laughs> mustache, does, and they'd be like, "Yeah, that's uh, right. That's the that's the back yeah, manager." That's good. That's it. <laughs> <laughs> that's like I, that's such a like. <laughs> <laughs> I like it, but it's also like just a little bit too silly. Yeah, yeah so I, think I, I, like, I don't think poor. Yeah, I think like an adequate disguise. Like, so okay. it saves you the stress, but like poor is just, I think, cheating. Right. I mean, the nice thing is that by making an adequate disguise, you're really saying that I've got, like, you've done this magic, which is super cool, but I've still got to sell it, which yeah, exactly. Yeah. unnoticed, still meaningful and, and significant in this. Like, if you had done a super good disguise, anyone could be wearing it. Yeah. And you could have got in and punched someone and they would still believed it. Yeah. Mm -hmm. and, and we can even expand on that and, and make it so that this magic only changes your face. So the costume and the and the clothes are up to Behringer. Mm. Oh, yeah. Nice. You know, that way it's a little, you know, you fictional. Bit, like, yeah. sense. Character study going on now. Yeah. Excellent. I love it. Yeah. Um, so that's good. Um, so it'll cost you three stress total. Um, cool. What? How do you do your magic? How does classic work his <clears throat> his stuff? I didn't think of this. Um, <clears throat> so I think like it's gonna. I think he like classically um, <laughs> uh, does does his magic like uh, like you, you see everywhere. It's it's not like uh, drawing on uh, drawing on the floor uh, in like sigils, um, reciting from a book with. Um, with Baron just standing in the middle of this like sigil, uh, being transformed uh, into uh, the bank manager, mm -hmm. but it's like it's not like a chant that ends. It's like it's ongoing during the transformation. So any mm -hmm. kind of utterance, like any kind of stutter or um, any kind of like distraction, will affect the spell. Can, can I? Can I? Can I uh, uh, add a little bit to it? Mm -hmm. um, I want. 
outside of the circle, there to be a mirror and Berenger is watching as you're sort of like grafting this new face nice. onto him. <laughs> and, <laughs> um, and he's got like a picture of the bank manager and he's like, cause he's really good at studying. I mean, this is like what Berenger does is like scope, sc- study things out. So he's just like, Nope, I need a little bit more here, like a little more weight under the eye, eye, nice. eyes here. Okay, like just like adding a few details, right? <laughs> oh, I um, like that. To, like to just just fine tune it perfectly. So it's, it's like as if like I'm using like the words of the magic to sculpt the face on top of yours. Yeah, and you're guiding me in the direction. I like that. Oh, uh, so good. It's um, such a it's such an eerie experience. It's super yeah. eerie. Like half of Berenger's face is his, and half is the other is the uh, the bank managers, and it's like moving very slowly across. I wanted to ask, is this Behringer's first experience with magic, you think, or? I mean, I don't think I'd be nearly this cool if it was. Uh, I don't think I'd be nearly this cool about it if it was. Um, but it also, I don't know when he would have done it. So I think I'm going to say, yes, it's his first. And this is maybe after a few false starts where he was like, Whoa. you know, like, like there were yeah. a couple times where like you got <coughs> interrupted because we're just like, what are you doing? What's going on? You're like, like, you know, after a few attempts, we have the, the like montage scene of like, dun, 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 you know, and you, you failed the first time, but then you, you learn the lesson and then go back at it and, and do it. I like it. Part of what causes you all this stress is, you know, having yeah. to somebody oh, I like who that. hasn't done this before. I like um I like the idea that the, the that during this the echo is like kind of trying to reassure Behringer and being like you know it's gonna be okay classic knows what what he's doing you know classic you know this is weird yeah. but it's gonna be all right you know we're here for you that sort of thing okay uh, so cool so uh, day of the heist uh, in the morning bank manager's car doesn't start uh, he's busy dealing with that. Uh, so Behringer walks in as the bank manager with Classic, correct? Mm-hmm. Yep. yep. Um, so uh, what do you want to do first uh, in this bank? Um, um, I think um, I think I'm going to abuse my power. Mm-hmm. Um, I think I'm going to walk up to the um, uh, sort of like first security guard I see. And um, and uh, actually, not, I'm not gonna address security guard. I think I'm gonna like walk up to like the first like bank teller mm-hmm. that I see and basically treat them like my assistant mm-hmm. and say like, I want you to call, you know, my, uh, I want you to call my insurance company. I want you to call, like, I'm going to just like create busy work for people. Of, like my car didn't start and I'm really furious. And like, I want my coffee and all, all of these things. And I'm like, oh, and then I almost sort of like, like I forgot. And I'm like, and I have a very important client. We need to, we need, to, and I like, you know, point to, um, a point to classic uh, that, uh, that I, uh, uh, that I will uh, personally, um, uh, uh, assure he's um, personally assure he's uh, has access to his secure, the safety deposit box because everything that, that I uh, else I want to do seems to be going wrong. Uh, you know, everything I don't have my personal hand on is breaking today. Nice. So I kind of basically just come in like annoyed and like creating busy work for people, um, mm. you know, to like distract them with like, oh, shit, yeah, call the insurance office and all this stuff, right? Like find out what happened. Um, so it's the boss is having a bad day, so everyone else has to have a bad day. Exactly. <laughs> okay, I like it. Um, what kind of action do we think that is? Um, I feel like it's 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 all actions I'm terrible at. It's either command or sway. Like it's not consort. I'm not being chummy with these folks. Mm-hmm. Um, I imagine it's, it sounds more like command. I think it's command. Yeah. 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 Uh, so that is, you're a little weak in that. Um, uh, a lot weak, but that's okay. Uh, maybe uh, you want to help him out with this classic. Yeah, I think like um, I'm gonna I'm, I'm I'm like gonna help them out by just like I'm trying to think of the way like, projecting my importance, if that makes sense. Like yeah. mm-hmm. looking at my watch, being like I'm busy. Like uh, yeah, is, like, let's hurry this up, you know. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Right. Like just getting on my phone and like all I'm doing is at the moment like 
talking to like shift or something on the phone but pretending right. it's someone really important okay very good not, um, not important i dig it so controlled circumstance because you got a good engagement role yeah um it'll be uh one bonus die nice do you want any devil's bargains or anything <sighs> You have you have one in mind? I was trying to think of something. I didn't. I was. Uh, all, all I had was. Um, so usually your disguise is perfect, but you get the sense that the vulture might be able to see through it, and the vulture might be here somehow. Oh yeah. What do oh you yeah. Think? Absolutely. Bring on the vulture. Yeah. Okay. I like it. Cool. Um. Yeah, you haven't spotted them yet, but you get that sense. You know, you're somehow connected to this person. Yeah. Um, All right. So controlled standard. Yeah, two bonus dice. Come on. Okay. Oh, it's not showing the screen. All right. Okay. Uh, very good. Um, so we're going to say the consequence here. So you're going to. Let's bring back this suitable chaos clock. <laughs> sure. It's, uh, we're going to tick that up to two because this is the idea of you're creating this busy work and you're creating this situation where everyone's kind of distracted yeah. and paying attention. Um, at the same time, like you get the sense this isn't exactly how this manager always acts. And mm -hmm. like some of the security people are like getting kind of ruffled, like what's going on. Right. You know, I know he's having a bad day, but like this is a little much. Right. Does someone need to step in and we'll take up that suspicion clock uh, unless you want to resist that consequence? Uh, no, no. Let's, let's get let's have, let's have people to be suspicious. All right. I like it. I, dig it. I mean, it totally makes sense, right? Like, I, I think we probably have studied this person somewhat, but we haven't been, we've been studying them from a distance. I imagine us like watching them come in and out, which doesn't mean we know their personality really well. Right. So I don't know what these are only like and I can only play off the whole I'm having a bad day thing so far. Right. Yeah, no, that totally makes sense. Right, so the idea is like you're acting out of character but it makes sense that you're acting out of character because he's having a bad day. Yeah. Um, okay, that's great. Uh, so the you, you walk up to this bank teller, you know, you do this. The bank teller is like, oh yes, of course, sir. Of course, I'll, I'll get right on that. Um, who has the keys to the safe deposit boxes? Cheryl, Cheryl, um, Cheryl, can you take the bank manager uh, and his associate uh, to the safe deposit boxes? And like uh, another woman, uh, another young woman, um, like uh, reaches into a desk, uh, reaches into, um, I guess, like a, a secured box or like a safe, mm -hmm. pulls out a yeah. ring of keys. And it's like right this way, sir. I'll I'll get you. I'll get you taken care of. It's one of those things where like you have a key to a safe, and then you open up that safe, and inside there's a big key ring that has the keys to the security exactly. box. Yeah. Kind of thing, right? Yeah. Because right? no one keeps it on them um, mm -hmm. normally, but they have access to it. Right. Exactly. And there's some checkout protocol as well, I'm sure. But right, which they're skipping at this point because oh no, you know. Right. But. Uh, they uh, so she walks briskly over to the safety deposit area, uh, opens the door to the safety deposit boxes, um, and says, uh, "What what was your box number, sir?" To classic. Uh, so part I, I have the fucking idea. So um, I think <clears throat> um, I was going to do this as a as a flashback, but actually I think I'll just spend a point of prep um, okay. to have like when when I was doing the prep work, one of the things I was looking at was, what was the actual number of the thing? Um, of well, the, you the also box. could have opened an account and gotten one, right? Like you could oh, yeah. you could have a safety, like it could have nothing in it or it could have like a, a, yeah. a, a Build-A-Bear in it. I mean, like you could, what whatever you want, right? Like, that's like, right, yeah. That's, yeah, uh, so I, I like, that would be my point of prep, I like that, is me uh, going to the bank, opening a bit safety deposit box, blah, blah, blah. Um, and just for humor's sake, it'll be number 420. <laughs> All right. Um, <laughs> okay. Uh, so, yeah, she walks over, uh, unlocks the safety deposit box, uh, takes it out. I, I assume you, like, put some stuff in there during your prep so it would make sense. Um, yeah. 
And she, I think there's usually the thing where like each person has a key, right? Like she has one right. of the keys and uh, yes. the other key. And when you both turn them, the box opens up. So mm-hmm. the bank can't just take them. Right. Like it's <laughs> right. right, right, right. That makes sense. It's... <laughs> uh, so yeah, so that's. Although you know the like, bank has both keys, they could go in there and I'm like, <laughs> oh yeah, let's see what stuff people have. Ooh, diamonds. Yeah. Anyway, uh, <laughs> nice. <laughs> uh, but yeah, so that um, she kind of like stands there and waits for you to do whatever you're going to do with the safety deposit box. And, and uh, I, I, at that point, it's normal yeah. that like she would like wait, but I'm like, I've got this. You go back to go back, figure out where, figure out, uh, you know, what happened to my car. Um, and like I hold out my hands, like I'll take the keys, like like. Okay. I'll, I'll finish up this because I, I think at this point, like I've, even though I've risen some suspicion, I've definitely like established myself as here right. doing personally. Right. Uh, I don't think we need to make this an action. You spent a point of prep for it and you got, you, you did the work before to set this up. Um, so yeah, so you get the, uh, she hands over the keys and says, of course, sir, I'll, I'll go check on that right away. And she exits. Um, what would you guys like to do next? I'll remind you that you believe that the uh, siege breaker is in the vault under the bank that you'd have to access through the elevator. Okay. Right. Um, trying I'm trying to, to get the message the the um, trying to get the the it, the uh, picture up on stream. It's fighting me, but yeah, let's that's see fine. If this works. So let's see if see if some folks can see it. So we're in the so in, we're next to the elevator, right? But, at, yeah. Um. Yeah. There's the counting room. There's the machine room, and there's the elevator next to us. Um, those triangles on the map are people, right? Those triangles. Uh, when you walked in, it was weird. Um, they have just gargoyles standing oh. on pedestals oh, scattered cool. throughout this bank. And it's very strange. And like you can see on the map they gave you, they the librarians like marked them off with like big like question marks, like what is this? Okay. No, that's, that's not right. ominous at all. No, it's that's just, would we yeah. just would we want me to make a distraction for you guys to get over to the elevator? <clears throat> I was thinking, I was just thinking like uh Ask you to do something like cut the power or something, but maybe not cut the power. Oh, I was going to make a really big distraction that was just going to take everyone's attention from you. Yeah, because yeah, we're we're pretty close to mm. the elevators right now. Like we're we're only like there's two rooms between us and them. Mm-hmm. Also, like it's not weird for me to go in the elevator down to the vault. Like no. that yeah. isn't strange. It is. It is. Uh, possibly strange for me to take somebody with me but um i think if as long as uh as long as like there's enough commotion going on i bet yeah we could get down there and not and not seem seem weird at all well i have the perfect thing and i'm gonna get real outlandish with it nice let's do it do it i mean this is a one shot man yeah oh, and all the um I'm gonna drive a stolen vehicle into the glass entrance. Whoa, that's Holy a shit. Oh, accident! Oh no! <laughs> <laughs> oh my god! Oh my god! Oh my god! Oh my god! Can you please have it be my vehicle that's being delivered from the dealership yes. as a replacement? Like oh, I have like, so good. like that, and you're delivering it, and you're so you're ra- you're racing so fast to deliver this vehicle because I chewed people out so much over the phone that you just accidentally. <laughs> It just skids across the sidewalk and smashes through the glass. Okay. Oh my god, that's so good. I love it so much. <laughs> okay, this is gonna be risky, but it's gonna be finesse, I think, uh, to steer a vehicle. I mean, the the main challenge is keeping yourself safe while also just creating this chaos. Um, right. right, and like presumably not hitting anybody along the way and all these other things, right? Yeah, I mean, I mean that's only a secondary problem. Just... Okay. <laughs> <laughs> uh, this will be a, a great effect, I think, uh, just from your ability, a... and also just what it is. So. so standard, because I have negative, because I have lesser effect right now. Oh yeah, that's true. Well, um, it, de- it depends on what your what the harm is. So if it's if it would affect this harm, harm is always situational, right? Like yeah. so, if if your harm, but I think whiplash. Would does make, make a drive sense that, that affects driving, right? Like it's a yeah. driving accident injury. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Yeah. Oh yeah. 
So, so it'll take yeah. it down to standard, but uh, yeah, you're still going to be doing something. All right, here we go. Oh, so everybody's seen the map now, and I'm going to switch back to uh, the, 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 the rule 20. Okay. Um, <laughs> so yeah, so here's what's going to happen. Uh, suitable chaos, we're going to tick that up to... Um, because, oh my god, a car just crashed through the bank uh, window. Yeah. Um, but uh, people are no longer suspicious. They're like, the guards react to this. They're like, what the hell are you doing? And, you know, they're going to start drawing guns and, like, we're going to fill this suspicion clock unless you resist it. Uh, um, I mean, my... The ability for me to get out of this is not as serious as everyone else's. Um, yeah. So I think the suspicion on me is actually beneficial in some way. <laughs> All right. Well, I guess the question is, is like, does is the, is, is the fictional ahead. outcome of their suspicion clock filling up, meaning they're on high alert across the board and it's going to make right. us, our job more difficult? Or is it just that there's a lot of security guards freaking out about this particular incident, right? Like, cause it might be worth, accepting the complication of the security guards being up in your grill but not having the suspicion clock filling right. if, if it's warmer is that let's do let's do that i like that better so we're, we're going to split this into two consequences the first one is that the security guards are going to swarm you and the second one is like they're going to be on high alert now uh would you okay. like to resist either I'm gonna, of yeah those? i'm going to resist the high alert okay let's go ahead and roll um i guess this would be man what would this be Resolve maybe to like convince them that this is that this never that this was fine like this was just an accident. I yeah. feel like yeah, it would be resolved. Yeah, I think that would. Yeah, I would agree. Okay. All right. Cool. Four. Four. So two stress. So yeah, you. So yeah. So what? So what do you do? How do you kind of sell this as like, oh, I'm sorry or whatever. Um, I think I've. I've it, Immediately after crashing this thing, um, I think the the uh, uh, the airbag goes off, and I'm like in terror, and I just start screaming, <laughs> like <laughs> fully, like fully freaking out over the situation. Uh, partly acting, partly real. <laughs> like oh, right, you're just, not used to crashing. <laughs> like like you know, fully making this very clear that oh my god, you know, this was not purposeful. Mm hmm I like it. Okay, uh, back to Classic and uh, Behringer. What would you guys like to do next? I mean, I feel like if we communicated this going to happen in the, in the, in the, in, through the Echo. Echo, that we're like literally standing at the door of the safety deposit mm -hmm. box in the moment, like that we hear the squeal of the tires outside, like it's about to hit. That's when we just walk out and just basically don't say anything to anybody, just make a beeline to the elevator, but like, like, like literally like we own the place, mm -hmm. but I mean, I'm just assuming that like no one's paying attention to our asses at this point. If, if yeah, right, right, yeah. yeah. The focus is definitely on the car crash. Um, so yeah, so you come to the elevator. Uh, the elevator has like a security badge system that you need to swipe through. Um, mm -hmm. does, you could does my Ford badge uh, yeah. work or? Uh, I'm not quite sure because um, um, that's yeah. That's more like papers and stuff to like. Yeah, that makes sense. I was gonna say, could like, it doesn't have to be though, because could it not work with my tech site? So it will oh, always yeah. tell me how I can hack into things. So actually, the fact that a Baron just got some kind of ID and that I can hack into the system, we could essentially have a badge right. that works. I like that. Um, we're gonna see how good this forgery is. Maybe classic checked it over. And like use that tech site to kind of make sure everything was going to work. Uh, so we're going to see exactly how well this was put together with uh, nice. maybe a study role from Classic. Cool. I I like the idea. Uh, can we do it as a group action? We'll work oh on yeah, that together. sure. Mm -hmm. I like the idea <coughs> that uh, that <coughs> in another circumstance, Behringer would totally just walk up, see their badge didn't work, and be like more just pissed off and be like, God damn it. She'll, you know, buzz me in, right? Because like, ah, everything's broken. I got demagnetized, right? Mm -hmm. You know, or something like that. Uh, but in this case, we don't want any attention on us. So like, uh, there, there are many possible 
versions of this mm. one, of, the, of this that I could see being fun. Yeah, I yeah. like this one. Um, so yeah, let's do a group study. Um, do you want to lead that? I'm I'm pretty decent at it, so I I think Berenger would would. Want uh, that. I've got I've got three in mind. Okay, I've got what two. So yeah, uh, so yeah, I'll, I'll lead it. That's all right. Yeah, sounds good. Um, yeah, what we at, at uh, Eric? Or... It's our... Oh, uh, controlled. No one's paying, or yeah, controlled. No one's paying attention to you yet. Cool. And standard effect, yeah. Yep. There we go. All right. Well, I don't Five. cause you stress. All right. Okay. Nice. Um, okay. The consequence is so you, you, you swipe the thing, and like your tech site, um, it, it, it blinks green, but your tech site sees like a signal. The echo like whispers to you that. A signal is getting passed down the wire to something in the vault that someone's being made aware that you're coming down. Mm. Uh, oh, okay. Want to resist that? No. So the someone's being made aware that we're going down, as in like that the badge has been pressed, right? Yes, exactly. Yeah, right. I don't think we need to resist that because yes, we are. Well, we are, but we could keep catch them by surprise. But I like, I like not. I like writing this yeah sure exactly they know we're coming down because we're coming down yeah otherwise right. i think i think otherwise the surprise would be more suspicious mm -hmm. yeah. <coughs> so yeah so the elevator comes up ding doors open uh it's just your standard elevator gray paneling uh you step inside the doors close goes down yeah and exactly ding, 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 ding. <laughs> like it takes like a like a little longer than you would expect. Like this is going down to a deep vault, and you're yeah. like, "This, this isn't up to code. Where's, where's the fire exit here? This is weird." <clears throat> um, and you're kind of getting the sense through the echo that like something's a little off here. Like maybe your disguise isn't just going to get you into the vault. Like so something's a little hinky going on right. here. Um, but yeah, the doors open on the other side. Um, and at the end of the hallway uh, are four guards uh, holding, not at the ready, but like kind of slung um, across their across their chest. Uh, they have MP5s. You see they're wearing bulletproof armor uh, and they're emblazoned with the logo of um, uh, Leviathan Security, which is just like uh, of course. this horrible like kind of like stylized maw with like jagged teeth kind of coming off in different directions. Um, and they just kind of look at you and they, they see you as the bank manager. Uh, and one of them says, uh, can we help you, sir? Um, so I want to ask you a question about earlier on when I was generating suspicion earlier on, did it seemed like people were like, man, he's in a pissy mood today. Or did it seem like people were like, he's talking more than he normally does. Like, do I get any sense of what, let me say this another way. I would like to flash back to actually studying the bank manager and getting, his, getting a sense of his demeanor. I'd like to be like, oh yeah, I forgot. He acts like this um, so that I can do a better impression of him right now. Okay, cool. Um, is this going to be like a setup action you think? Uh, yeah, yeah, that sounds right. Um, cool. Uh, cause the situation would normally be risky. So that's valuable. Um, so it'll be one stress. Uh, go cool. ahead and roll study. Cool. Um, uh, get the, 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 the. and study control. Cause it was yeah. back. Mm-hmm. Five. Okay. Cool. Okay. Um, yeah. Uh, you do get a better sense of who this guy is. Um, it, it's mainly what you've been doing is you've been acting. This guy is usually a little more mild mannered than this. People haven't seen this sort of outburst for him from right. him. Uh, so people are kind of like completely a caught off guard by this. Right. And that like, sense. that's what's kind of feeding into the suspicion of the guards. Mm. Is like we've cool. never seen this before. We've um, never seen somebody. That, yeah. Yeah. Um, sounds good. Uh, any any consequence that are that's, that's coming my way? 
because of that flashback or was that a, or was that a fortune roll just to let's just call it a fortune roll because i can't really think of a good yeah i'm trying to think of like if i'm studying from a distance yeah, yeah. uh okay cool so as we're going down the elevator i think i, t- I tell a classic like oh right i've been playing up the uh person in powers uh uh I mean, you know i've been playing the 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 uh the asshole bank manager but i forgot he's got bosses too okay mm-hmm. i think i got this and then when we come up i'm like Whew. Oh, guys, it's been a day, hasn't it? Man, car broke down. And then, and do, is there any cameras in here? Does it, is there any like view of what's uh, above in the in the bank? Um, no, no, no. There is not. Okay. And then, you wouldn't believe what just happened. Oh, my God. Some maniac drove through the... Oh, anyway, I'm going to take this guy inside. Excuse me. And And I like, I act like this is a normal thing. But I, you know, but trying in this case to be like more put out, more mm-hmm. uh, differential. And then I had him like, I had to do some guy outside. Can you buzz me in? Uh, they kind of uh, exchange looks. Um, what kind of action is this going to be? I mean, it's the, it's another action that I'm great at, which is sway. <laughs> Actually, no, I'm, I'm, I'm not going to say I think it's consort. I think it's me trying to like connect with them and be like, cool, we all just work for people. We're all doing our jobs. Okay. Uh, trying to schmooze. A classic. Do you want to help him out with this at all? I'm trying to think how. Like he's trying to act deferential. So I, I think. Um, I mean, you could just I, be the one giving me hell, right? That's what I was going to say. Is I think I'm I'm going to be like the dickhead in this situation that they're going to have sympathy for you. Um, <clears throat> so while while you're going on, I'm I like I'm looking at my watch, and then you you stop, and I'm like I'm I'm in a rush. Can we get on with this, please? Um, mm-hmm. uh, and I'm just gonna act like the the rich the rich prick that everyone hates. Cool. Mm-hmm. I like that we're switching prick rolls, right? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> just trading off. Yep. All right. Cool. Uh, yeah. So, um, is this an assist or a group action or? I think I'll do an assist to give you an extra die. Makes okay. sense. I think I'm the one who has to sell it. Mm-hmm. <clears throat> All right. What's my position? Uh, controlled because you, you you set this up previously. Oh right, right. So it would have been risky, but it's it's controlled. Yeah. And effect. Uh, standard. Control? Cool. I think I really want this. So I'm going to push myself as well. Okay. <laughs> and yet. Oh. All right, time to use some harmony, ladies and gentlemen. I would say one hundred percent. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Tell me, tell us how harmony works. That's my <laughs> in this game. Yeah. How Harmony works is a unique mechanic uh, allows you to re-roll a check uh, by invoking your relationship with someone else. The idea being that through the echo, you're able to help each other and like kind of help each other like before you're about to make a mistake. Nice. They, someone else kind of pulls you back or gives you advice yeah. or steps in in just that really synchronized way. I feel like this is shift. Uh, I don't know why, but but chef, what kind of advice do you have for me in this moment uh, to, to help me from making a, a guff? A guff. <coughs> uh, I think in this situation, um, I think shift is uh, still like hysterically screaming upstairs, and uh, he's saying, "Do the exact opposite of what I'm doing right now." <laughs> nice. <laughs> nice. So, so I think. Yeah. Go ahead. I think there's a moment where I'm like in a panic and I'm like, ah, and then I'm just like, and I'm like, it's okay though, because you've got this under control. And like, I just like kind of calm down and, and like, just like the panic that the legit real panic, the Behringer is feeling, I think like shift kind of like takes some of that and he, and he mm-hmm. calms yeah. down before he, if anything, shift takes it so that he can use it to fuel his yes. freak out upstairs. Dude, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I love it. Right, right. And I'm, I'm envisioning this very much like the Sense8 scene of like Shift being mm. there alongside mm. and being like, I'm freaking out. You can't freak out right now because I'm freaking out. <laughs> exactly. <laughs> I love it. Okay, cool. Well, let's try that again. Mm hmm. Uh, 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 uh. <laughs> oh my god you guys all right it's, it's um, nice i can't roll a three 
<laughs> because it's because I want to introduce another mechanic. <laughs> yeah, please. You reminded me of it mentioning Sense Eight. Um, there's an additional teamwork action in this game called Resonate, um, where it does not matter how far away you are. Um, it's not like uh, a, a team action in that section. Um, but the idea is that both players roll and then apply the best result um, mm -hmm. and take two stress total between the characters. The idea that this is the sensate thing of someone stepping in like literally to your body and helping you do something. Nice, nice. So it, it works like a group action, but we don't have to be anywhere near each other right. to do it. Exactly. I am all for it. Who would like to step in I, for a second? Take the wheel. I've got I've got some good consort. I can do this. There we go. Yeah, I don't have anything. Oh, cool. perfect. Perfect. And I can take uh I'll take both of the stress for this as okay. well. Okay. Okay, cool. Go ahead. Awesome. That's great. Because I'm I've got some. I could take two, but then I'd be real close. Mm -hmm. All right, here we go. Six. Yes. yes. There we go. Right. Thank you, Nick. <laughs> yes. <laughs> uh, I'm a big fan of bullshit your way out of trouble mechanics. So yeah. here we go. Uh, so Nick, speaking through Behringer, what do you say? To <coughs> um, I think I, I, I tone it down more. I play it. Uh, I, I, uh, instead of using any panic at all, um, I take a deep breath, let it out slowly, like visibly. And then I'm like, right. we see, we see uh, shift doing that, like up in the car above, right? We see, yeah, see that, or yes, 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 yes. Uh, and then it's just a uh, lifts up his lifts up his hand for a moment, and just like, I'm sorry, I it's it's been a rough morning. That just we, we gotta, I gotta get the job done. Uh, okay, they check over some papers, and they say, "All right, pickup is authorized." Uh, no, they they like they like speak into a mic on their shoulder and confirm something is like, all right, yeah, the pickup's off authorized, um, and they uh, lock eyes with you, classic, um, and they're like, uh, you're the transporter, correct? This is where I look like Jason Statham. Um, <clears throat> <laughs> sorry, uh, that so uh, yeah, I uh, I'm gonna like lo lock eyes with them as well. Um, and just put on my best, like, lying face um, uh, and not go, that's why I'm here. Okay. Excellent. And I think I look, like, totally baffled by this. Like, what? Like, I like I think the bake manager probably isn't in. Like, no, they probably no. run the upstairs upstairs and they don't know anything about really what's going on down here. So I'm like, the what? <laughs> okay. I just thought this was a routine inspection. Uh, all right. I guess that's what you guys say. Like, I'm just playing along with the, like, I'm totally like not in the know here about any of this stuff okay um they say all right uh we just need to check your uh we just need to check your blood real quick uh and one of them pulls out a knife and hands it over to you classic okay uh, okay so what? quick question is that like do i like using my tech site is there any like device in the room that i could say like oh that's going to test my blood or or are they just going to be like Oh, it's red. It's not blue. He's all right and not a fay. Like, what? Um, <laughs> you get the sense that, like, yeah, you see, like, a little thing off to the side of the vault that's like this weird, like, uh, like almost like jagged maw uh, that, uh, like, looks super magical and yet kind of technological too. Uh, they say, yeah, just go ahead and uh, stick your hand in there and it'll verify. Then why did they give me the knife? Rewind. That's, they that's, didn't that's, that's legitimate. Me. I was going to say that. I was going to ask them no, the question. No. Why did you give me the knife? I, I, well, I want to I want to, I want to pause to something. And this is the most ridiculous use of prep I can think of, but I want to use it and tell uh -huh. Like, we know who these Leviathan folks are, right? They're enemies of us. Mm -hmm. we, okay. Is it so much ridiculous use of prep to say that like we ambushed one of them got some of like got in a fight got some of their blood and and now because this is exactly the kind of thing that Behringer would do you have a little like uh, latex uh, uh, 
blood pack on your arm. And so if you yes. take the knife and you run it across, it's going to slit the latex and get the blood that we that we got from them. I mean, this is, as a flashback goes, this is ludicrous, but this is this prep says to have a special asset on hand through flashbacks. And so I'm like, this is special as I can think of. I like it. I dig it. Are you, I really are you like down it for too. that? Ash. Oh yeah, one hundred percent. I wouldn't say that like I'd slit it with a knife because I'm so I imagine it's gonna like chomp down on my arm or something. Not like legitimately, but it's mm -hmm. like an Indiana Jones trap where I'm gonna put my hand in a in a, in a hole in the wall and it's gonna yeah, you know, it's gonna get exactly. a little by, yeah, yeah. A little prick <clears throat> yeah. And um, we just make we have the the, the the where the prick is is where the yeah. latex is covered. Mm -hmm. uh, yeah, no, I love that, um, and I, I think I'm gonna do it like like I've done this many times before. Um, and because we prepped and I'm not nervous about this at all. I'm like, Oh, I was expecting this. Um, so I'm going to, uh, ju I'm just going to walk over to the wall. I just like, look like I'm really bored and just like, wait. Um, <clears throat> um so what this will be is this is just going to be a straight consequence that you can avoid. If you want, this thing is going to bite down on your hand and it's going to hurt your hand unless you avoid the consequence. This okay. is just... Wait, okay. There's but no, it's not going to test anything except for the latex. Yeah, yeah they're, they're, it's not going to take anything except the latex. This is going to work, but it's going to hurt unless you avoid that consequence. And it's going to do It's going to do harm, right? Yes, level two harm. Oh, fuck, level two. Big bang. I kind of like the narrative of it, though. Yeah, mm -hmm. I mean, like, I kind of feel like resisting is in some ways counter to, like... Yeah. The process, mm -hmm. right? Like, like you're supposed to just endure it, right? Yeah. But no. It's... Yeah, I'm gonna leave it. I'm fine. I'm fine. Like, I'm gonna take a, a one, like a minus one dice to everything I roll for the rest of this game. Yeah. Okay. I'm not gonna just, resist. Just if your bitten hand affects you, you know. Yeah. It would. I can see lots of cases where it wouldn't. Very good. Uh. So yeah, the the hand bites down, pierces the latex, and you like you get this super ominous feeling when you stick your hand into the maw, like. It feels like you're reaching into the Stygian itself and you just feel like this terrible darkness and like every like bad thing that you've ever experienced kind of like pools into your hand and then it just like bites down and just like mangles your hand uh, yes. before it just then lifts away and the vault door slides open. Uh, one of the Leviathan guards hands you, uh, holds out a bandage and says, it doesn't get any easier, does it? Uh, like, there's not even going to be a reply. He's just going to go, mm -hmm. and I like, take the bandage and just like wrap his, like wrap his hand as he walks back to the bank manager. <coughs> or and I look, I look like I've never seen this before. <laughs> like I just thought, <coughs> like I just thought, yeah, I look perplexed. Mm -hmm. uh, which is one part true, maybe? Yeah, yeah. So, so all good lies are told with a little bit of truth. Mm -hmm. um, I think it seems to me um, like you would just go in and get it. Like, I can't really imagine them letting me yeah. this vault, right? Like, I can escort you this far, but I didn't do the blood test, all that stuff. So I imagine I'm just like, I'll wait for you here then, I guess, um, and to have you go in, right? Does that... That, is that yeah. the vibe that's going on right now, Eric? Yeah, yeah. Uh, no, I think that's exactly what happened. I think what will happen is I will, uh, like, uh, like, I'm holding a briefcase. Of course. Um, uh, and I, I just basically hand you the briefcase because now I'm, like, technically now using one hand to do everything. Uh, I hand you the briefcase and I just say, wait here. Um, in, a, like, a commanding tone as if, like, you have no choice. Yeah. <clears throat> uh, and then uh, nod to the other guys. Uh, the other Leviathan to let me through. Yeah, uh, they part, uh, the vault door opens, uh, and inside you see um, it, it's kind of dark and you kind of have to step in. Uh, you you kind of hesitate for a minute, but the Leviathan will, you get the sense that whatever is going to happen is going to happen as soon as you walk into the, the vault. <clears throat> you can't really see what's inside. It's <clears throat> Oh, great. Well, I'm just going to have to trust the absolute dread I'm feeling and walk in. All right. Uh, you walk in and like a single light kind of lights up and you see standing in the middle of this vault, 
uh, kind of, no, not standing, like lounging in this vault uh, is what appears to be a man, uh, except for the very long, slim horns growing out of his, uh, uh, of his head. Um, and he's kind of lounging against just these bales of cash and money. Um, and yes, you do. he looks up at you with a smile and he says, ah, I know what you are. Didn't expect your kind to come for me, but can't say it's not a welcome change. And he extends a hand towards you that's just dripping with black inky ichor. And he says, Vendrilith, the siege breaker of Tyre. A pleasure to meet you, messenger. Fuck. Uh, you're like, you know, every card has out the window. Um, <clears throat> That there is just genuine shock because of all the things he thought it might be, mm, sentient person was not one of them. Um, so it takes longer than he would have liked to then just like slowly extend his hand um, <clears throat> uh, and shake uh, the name that you said. I already love Vendrilith. 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 Yes. Thank you. Uh, shake Vendrilith's hand. And I think there is like a sense of. Um, like familiarity from like the black ichor that's on Avengers' hand because <laughs> just of just from shit exactly. hands all the time. So there's just sort of like oh, this doesn't gross me out as much as it should. Um, no, it's... You when you grab his hand, like your you feel your own hand kind of sink into his. Like Ooh. it goes more into the ichor than it should. You know. Yeah, uh, and then gross. like. It, the, the echo is like, this is bad. Just get him and get out. Like, this is, uh, <laughs> I don't like this guy. Uh, and you kind of have to, with effort, like pull your hand back out. Uh, he smiles, uh, a charming smile and says, well, shall we depart? Yeah. I'm just trying to, like, this is, this is legitimately uh, classic, trying to think of a plan. Okay, yes, let's go. Um, but first, um, like, did I get a sense that the Leviathan think I'm here to pick him up, right? Yes, yes, that's Thank what God. I said. Like, you're the Just transporter. Sure, yeah, make sure that it is for, like, Vendrith and not, like, the weird orb that's, like, on the right hand side. Like, <laughs> it is this, it's him that I'm supposed to pick up. Right. Because if I walk we... out with the wrong thing. Yeah, <laughs> yeah. They'll, they might notice. They might notice. Um, yeah. uh, the um, the 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 thing. The reason for this this job we're doing right now is because we knew it was about to be moved. So yeah. like, it's. True. <clears throat> um, how like when you say the horns on his head, mm -hmm. in what way? Uh, like grow, how. They grow out of his forehead, and they're very slim and very long. Like they, they, I... they go up like. Do they look like Loki's helmet from yeah, Avengers? Yeah, exactly, but like thinner than that. Even. The fuck am I going to hide that out in the bank? Jesus. Um, okay. Do, do you like? I mean, you could ask him, like, how do you... Yeah. Yeah, that's going to be the, the thing. It's just going to be like... Uh, so, yeah, so um, I'm going to stand by the door of the vault and then turn back to Vendrith, and then I'm just going to point at his horns um, just quizzically and just say, how do you... Um, uh, How do you go out in these, with these? Sorry, I don't know what's appropriate. How do I refer to them? He says, well, there, there's two approaches we could take, Master. I could simply kill anyone who sees me, or I could, and he snaps his fingers, and the horns just recede into his head. I prefer the first option, but it's up to you. Let's, um, let's go with the second one. As you wish. He turns back towards the door. As he turns back, he just mouths the words, what the fuck? <laughs> <laughs> it's yeah, just like, like, he does magic, but he is so out of his depth right now. Um, yeah. Uh, and I like the idea that we now have no idea what the hell we're going to do with this no, guy. There's a like, guy. I was like, we thought it was going like to be a hammer. <laughs> yeah. Oh, my God. Um, uh, and so he just, like, I, I think, like, the vault door closed behind him or something. 
Um, mm -hmm. So there's just like, he presses a button on it to like buzz him back out. Right. Um, the vault slides over. Yeah. And then he ushers to make sure Vengeance goes first. Mm -hmm. uh, so the uh, Vengeance is always in front of him and not behind where he could like escape or hide or whatever. Or mm -hmm. grow his horns back and stab you. Yeah, there is that. He, he walks ahead of you. Um, as you start walking away, the, the Leviathan guards just kind of nod to you. Um, what, what is uh, Beringer going to do when he sees this person? Like, crumple? <laughs> I mean, I guess, he doesn't, I guess he doesn't have his horns up right now, right? Like he's, no, he's he, in just, some... he just looks like a very well-groomed young man. In a Who's dripping place. with black eagle. No, he's not dripping anymore. Oh, okay. That was that was a special effect of the thing. <laughs> yeah. Um, yeah, I mean, I think he gulps. Like, okay. There's a man in the vault. <laughs> <laughs> That's not what I. Here, <laughs> I, I imagine yeah. Shift is like getting these reactions through the echo, and is like, "Wait, what? What? What is it?" <laughs> suddenly, I think suddenly, like I've been cool with the disguise that that. Um, the classic had made for me, but suddenly I feel like it starts itching. Like, oh, I got to get this thing off of me. Like suddenly, like the presence of magic is just making me feel real uncomfortable. And mm -hmm. I'm just like, I start scratching at my neck. And I'm like, okay, all right. And I'm like pushing the elevator call button a lot. Like, <clears throat> okay. Um, and I'm just... As you walk, uh, as you walk towards the elevator, uh, classic Vendrolith kind of leans in, whisper in your ear, and says. Uh, I could dispatch those Leviathan goons for you if you uh, wish to be rid of them. Like, Classic considers it for a second. Um, and there's like, wait, no, 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 no. Just, let's just go. Uh, and then I think in the echo, uh, in the echo to shift, it's like, Oh my god, we need to leave now quickly. We need to leave now. Can you help? Can you help? We need to leave now. <clears throat> he kind of just sighs and he says, I really hope you didn't bring me out to have no fun at all. My god. Um <laughs> so I think I think Shift has uh has set has uh anticipated needing a quick escape. Um and uh he flashing back, I think. Mm -hmm. uh, he, he set up some sort of uh, chemical reaction to to go off at, at his own specific timing. Um, mm -hmm. That's going to start a fire um, on, like, in the roof of the car, like coming out of the edges of the roof, or not, like, not the roof, the um, uh, the yeah. hood, the engine, yeah, the hood, yeah. Like, you, you know, there it's going to be flames that are. Uh, because we had time to plan for this, I think it's it's safe. It's just mm -hmm. terrifying. Yeah, it doesn't look good. <laughs> right, right. Okay, um, go ahead and make me a quick tinker roll. Absolutely, that's not great, guys, because I have no tinker. Oh wait, hold on. Um, maybe something else here. Uh, what was your mechanic special else. ability? Uh, that is that I can spend armor or prep to avoid taking a vehicle related consequence. So uh, I guess I can, I can do this and then if I fail, I can- <coughs> Yeah, you can just avoid the consequence. Yeah. yeah, I'll do that, that sounds fine. Okay. Yeah. I assume, I assume this is risky. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, I assumed. Uh, and here we go. Five, oh, two. Two, two. okay, two oh. on a risky. Not good. Uh, the car actually explodes. No, uh, <laughs> here, Sean, I'm not on the right page. Do you know what it is? What's that? Uh, oh, uh, 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 risky. You, it, it, it fails and bad things happen. You suffer a consequence, uh, which it could be uh, harm, uh, complication. You're in a desperate position. You have okay. Reduced, well, reduced effect isn't one of them, but yeah, doesn't work and bad things happen. Okay, yeah. So this place is going on high alert. Um, the car just, the engine just explodes. You use too much of something. And just like, you can avoid the consequence um, of like it damaging you, but like 
people are going to be like, what, what's going on? Why did a car just explode? You know? Uh, yeah. So I'm definitely going to resist it with my special armor. Okay. Yeah. Uh, and I'm going to try to, I think I'm, I think I'm going to take the moment to uh, also like get out of the car. <laughs> right. Yeah. That's a good idea. Well, yeah, yeah. Good yeah. idea. Yeah. All right. You get out of the car and. Uh, I think. I'm getting out of here. I think, I think I'm going to go try to get a getaway vehicle. Okay. Uh, yeah. We can, we can just fast forward through that because yeah. you've got that special ability. Yes. Um, yeah. You pull around to the front of the bank. The two of you, um, the elevator dings open. There's now a car on fire in the middle of the bank. People are running around getting fire extinguishers. No one's paying attention to you at this point. You two, you three now can just quietly leave. Uh, and you see as the door opens, revealing the scene of chaos, Vendrolith has just like this big wicked grin on his face. And he says, I apologize, master. I am going to have fun with you. Which one of us is he calling master, by the way? You, oh, classic. it's definitely um, you, classic. Great, 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 great. Oh, I great. don't like this. No, me either. Um, yeah. <clears throat> I, all right. uh, yeah, so like, I, I, I think like we just fast forward past all this, but like I usher them out, we leave the bank very quickly, uh, and get in some kind of getaway vehicle that, uh, Shift has prepared for us. I, I feel like I, I want, unless Eric, there's something more that we need to know, oh, I feel like I want the last scene to just be the, a camp, like a, a camera from the perspective of the front of the car, like the, the, the hood ornament camera looking in on us as we're all just like driving and it's like, it's like uh, 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 shift and and uh, uh, and Behringer and then classic and right now and like as as much distance as you can from from uh, Vendelith and like we're all just like driving very like straight like oh my god <laughs> <laughs> yeah and Ven Vendelith is the only one who's just got like a massive grin on his face yeah like cool I'm out, I'm out. yeah yeah he's like. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm, mm -hmm. But yeah, that is a cool scene to ride out on. I really like that. Okay, congratulations, question mark, question mark, question mark. <laughs> yeah, yeah, right. What a great uh, job to have gone so wrong slash right. Exactly. Uh, mm -hmm. Okay, um, yeah, so that's the end of the game. Do we want to do sign-offs now? Yeah, sounds great. Sounds great. Uh, let me flip the thing to the thing that does the thing. Um, let's see if it works. Man, my stream connection is still going real slow, but I think we're on the right screen now. Uh, <laughs> so um, I'm Sean Mittner. I, uh, you can find me here often um, at, at Actual Play. <laughs> I can find me online um, at Twitter. Uh, the thing I am super excited about right now, besides having just played this killer game, which was great, is that the Big Bag Con Kickstarter is going to go live in three days, something like that, on Tuesday. Um, I am just sent off the, the review to everybody, all the contributors to have them give it one final look and uh, before we hit go. So that'll be Tuesday morning. Super excited about that. Uh, how about you, Ash? Uh, uh, I'm Ash. Uh, uh, you can find me uh, on Twitter at AshGHK um, or on the Our Echo uh, Twitch stream where we play this game uh, as often as we can. Uh, what about you, Nick? Uh, I'm Nick. Uh, I don't have anything exciting coming up right now for me, but I do play regularly with Ash and Eric. Uh, it's the same, same sort of world, different characters. Uh, hope you guys can stop by sometime soon. Eric? Uh, I'm Eric. Uh, I'm the GM. I'm excited about this game. Um, Nick, did you want to mention, I know you do some stuff on DMs Guild, right? Yeah, I do. I have a couple of things up on DMs Guild for uh, for D&D 5th &D, uh, edition. Uh, if anyone's interested in checking that stuff out, it's all pretty cheap and I think it's pretty good. So Good. Mm -hmm. What can they <laughs> What can they search for to bring you up? Uh, they can find my name. It's all under my name. So search and you'll find it. Excellent. Yeah, I've, I've read a lot of them. Uh, I've done some reviews. It's really good content, you know, if you play 5th edition 
or really any sort of fantasy stuff. Uh, I really like it. So um, as for me, what's going on now, uh, I'm excited. Uh, I'm working on this game, of course. I'm also working on uh, another thing for Folklore Jam and hopefully Big Bad Jam, of, of course, as well, awesome. which is coming up. Um, a game called Brinkwood. It's going to be another uh, Forge in the Dark hack. Uh, it's going to be uh, themed around Robin Hood versus vampires. Uh, so <laughs> look that was always that. his thorn of the wood, right? The Sheriff of Nottingham Vampire, right? Like, yeah. it, like always messing with Robin Hood. <laughs> exactly. Um, so yeah, look out for that. Uh, you can find me on Twitter at Eric the Barrick. Um, uh, like uh, Ash and Nick said, we stream as often we as we can. What's your uh, What's your Twitch channel? Uh, let me double check it. One. Quick I believe it's our echo. Yeah, should be that. Yep, that's what it is. O u r e c h o. Got it. Cool. Put that in chat too. Mm -hmm. um, so yeah, so you can catch more of this. Who knows? Maybe, maybe we'll see Vendrolith again. Um, I do. I really like these characters. Uh, um. Sean, with your permission, maybe I'll bring Behringer back as an NPC. Or... Oh, absolutely! Please have have fun with him. All right, excellent. Um, well, that's all I got. Uh, big thanks to you, Sean, for running this. Um, yes, thank you. Oh, totally my pleasure. Thank you, guys. Doing this on a weekend, and uh, thanks to everyone who watched. Uh, I had a really great time, and I hope you guys did too. Yep. All right. Bye, all.